Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 30. We are back from Moonrise Tower, so obviously we need to get back. Uh, we made it here with the tieflings and we realized Roland it's out in the dark looking for them basically. We still need to rescue Maul the kid, of course. And uh, I wanted to go and check on that. Um, what was her name? Bex, I think. The crying tiefling we met before. Yeah, there she is, and she's uh, the guy is there as well. Don't you ever get yourself captured again? You're all right. My God, you're all right. Come here, darling. Right. All thanks to me. <laughs> Uh, right. I was so scared I'd lost you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. <laughs> Credit where it's due. Bex, this is the one who helped me and the others escape. This isn't the first time you've helped us. Saved our lives, really. Why? Well, because I'm because I'm amazing. That's why. Uh, when I don't kill in my you sleep, it so that easy. is. But I know the lengths you've gone to on our behalf. We'll never forget it. Never ever. Here, take these for the road. It's the least I can do. So, Handmade cookies, okay. Very well. Uh, anyway, let's check on the journal. I haven't I seen, seen that. Go. I'm kind of interested in just my own thing. Uh, look at that. The arch. Uh, the slimy thing in the moonrise crack called you its fallen star. It was very irreverent. It must have known you. Uh, it must have known you when you were still in one piece. See? You are worse than everyone else. Filthy hierophant of the broken and the damned. And apparently good at uh, at playing with tentacles. The illicit tide can be dominated by you. So that's really interesting because remember the... Um, remember the, the warden. The one that was looking over the prisoners. Uh, she said that we've been there before. At the Moonrise Towers that is. And I might have mis mixed, mixed up a few events, but in reality, that is the first hint into telling us that we've been there before. Hmm. Let's call it, let's say before the game uh, takes place, basically. But we do not know, we do not remember, we don't have that memory. So... If everything went as planned, we can still walk around here. Nobody noticed them. The slaughter that we left in the prison. So that's good. Um, I will go towards the blood trader now. Oh yeah, and just to, uh, things to mention in case you you don't know what to expect today. Today it's charged with um, a story unraveling and lore things that it's what we want to get doing. We're gonna have our fair share of that today. But before anything, uh, yeah, I wanna talk to her. Welcome back, true soul. Right. Because she has a few things that we might want. This one, for example, uh, this is a hunting item. It's really good for uh, it's really good for us, but we already got a better object, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, she's got that potion. This one, five hundred each, which I still think it's uh, ch cheap for that matter. Mm. She should have 
a cloth that I want for Karlak. I don't know why. Maybe we have it already. Not entirely sure. It's the Thunderskin uh, clo cloak. No, that is a Thunderskin cloak. I'm talking about the... I don't know. The Elegant Ratio, something like that. In any case, Thunderskin cloak... Well, the thing is that it's very few in the game, very few cloaks in the game. So, uh, they are not, they're not really good. Uh, this is good. We can use that. We are very close to hit level 9. And once we hit level 9, I've been thinking I might uh, have one new build every episode. Just to, just to show it. Because why not? It's been fun messing around with that. Ah, this is good as well. We're gonna take that. This is good, but I don't think I will ever use it. Might not, not buy it, quite frankly. Mm. We can use that as well. Very interesting. If I'm not mistaken, there is another... potion that she can sell uh, a lot of things that uh, a lot of these things that i remember or that i seem to remember are from way back so you know might be patch might have been uh corrected uh, or whatever and this one i don't think we will use it ever so yeah i think that's it I don't really have anything to sell because I did that off camera. Oh yeah, there it is, look. That's the one I want to put on Karlak. Yeah, we did have it way back. I don't know how we got it uh, that early. Right. Come back anytime. So, this, it's really good for us, but we already got the Helder's uh, Helm. Yeah, we're not going to change it. However... You haven't felt like prey in many moons. What's cooking? I think this is uh, better for Karlak because it's got... Uh, increase your dexterity score by 2 to a maximum 20. Uh, plus 1 bonus dexterity saving throws. Um, and it helps with the, th uh, with, the, with the throwing of the spear, basically. But the adamantine one, it's really good. Um, but since... Next? We should put it in Shalhar, maybe. Why not? As for lace cell, I oh, do need to change a lot of lace cell, but I won't do it today because it's a... Uh, it's a full-on change that I need to do. Maybe I'm going to go with the Kushigo set. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll see that later. Hmm. Uh, no need for that Trevor. today. Like a child at her first no time to and this weirdo still going about that. So. Uh, from here. We got hyenas. I don't know where they are. Okay, here they are. The hyenas. The Barnabas. I don't know if you remember them. We've killed a few of those. Uh, some of them talked to us. They seem to be in some sort of trance. Dominated will. Attention here because it's quite interesting. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> Now, how can I help you? I, I never seen a thing no before. Soft and sweet as pudding, isn't he? He no longer remembers his life in the wild. That is the gift the absolute gave me when I stood before her to rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. 
All right. Well, slaving them. Paladin there. You mean you enslave people? Their will has always been hers to command. I am simply putting it back where it belongs. Behold. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. What would you like him to do? <laughs> About a dance. Damn, okay. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Barnabas? You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. It's suffering. No, Barnabas! We talked about this. Wisdom throw. Compel the gnolls to pull their master. Oh, that could be interesting. I would like to get it. Oh, okay, let's save it. Because I want to see it. Damn. Okay, let's see. Right. We got the approval there. <laughs> Lol. No! There's a parasite in that corpse. All trace of well, restraint is gone. There you go. Barnabas has tasted blood, and once more, oh, to your surprise, and we're fighting. Fishing you, he grovels with a howl of pining awe. Oh. Many, many die. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, that's a dark urge thingy because we are ball basically. I'm back. How, uh, why have we met? Oh. Okay. So they're my allies now. Well. I came here with the intention of killing them. You know, they, they, they and take the experience. We are really close to the nine but well there's that I never seen the but it makes sense because that is a dirge thing they recognized it fish okay so let's now this cat something we ignore last time and it's pretty funny so uh, where did I put that potion? Okay. Let's see now. It's pretty interesting. Yours is a face I shred in my dreams. One who kicked the steel claw as if I were some stray. I am a champion hunter. When I lick my pelt, I taste blood. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. What do you mean I kicked you? We've never met. Try to remember what was forgotten. So you see, this is what I was talking about. The, the wars and whatnot. Try to remember what was forgotten. That's interesting. I never see that. I never seen that. Excavate the empty caverns of your useless mind, shoveling, dozing, blasting through oh. the smooth brain. Didn't kill the cat, did I? Kitty cat mule twin stamped upon its tail. You are the black cat crossing the path of the living. Fucking the hell. pleasure of the memory dribbles out of your leaking skull into the very air. Shit. God help me. Holy the shit. <laughs> at the cost of a piece of your mind. You were in this tower before. 
That much is sure. There it is. So we've been here before. Holy shit, we killed a cat. Fucking hell. Uh well, I wanted to show everything that this cat says, quite frankly, because it's it's quite a character. Uh but well we're gonna roll with it. That's what this is about. Jesus, okay. So we're back here and from from here. Uh, we should get going towards exploring more this area. And that's when we finally... Well, I'm, I'm going out from there. It's over here. We're finally gonna get to see... Um, get to unravel a lot of the story that's been going on here. I'm gonna talk a lot about Thorm. As we have already with the, with the sons of Thorm and whatnot, the siblings. But the story is a lot. It's go, uh, It's about to get a lot more interesting. Afternoon. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, disciples, Rel. Everyone, keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Oh, she's gonna intrude my thoughts. Flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Uh, okay, we gotta play uh, our part here. And enjoy, I will go. Any more minions to punish? Plenty. But I hoped someone of your talents would be more ambitious. You came here to answer the Absolute's call. Let's see what you're made of. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Damn, right. What do we do here? We've got lots of persuasion. Um... Overwhelm her by unleashing a wave of hatred as you prepare to attack. Mm, no. That's getting... That, that's fight, fighting right here, I think. Intimidation. Okay, this is more like it. That's your with the atrocities you've conducted. Fucking hell, is it? It's gonna be one of those days. Right. Making me waste them. The absolute fills your mind. But you have doubt and anger in your heart, not love. Oh. Uh, my anger outweighs my love, but it's directed towards her enemies. I said, Is throw? Control your emotions. When you come to her, you must allow her love to push out all other feelings. Or she will consume you. I have already consumed been this blessed to nuts. stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as Damn. well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. 
And the best way to do that is to serve General Sorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. Right. Uh, I need to serve. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Sorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. Balthazar. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Very well. Uh, ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Poor thing, look at that. Balthazar has sent neither word nor notice. Uh, whatever he's gone in a mystery, he needs someone to investigate his chambers. But no doubt he's tricked uh, the ring to high hells, perhaps ho uh, hobgoblins. Yeah. Right. So. Right before we get into uh, Balthazar and Thorm and all of that, we we would... Um, it would do good to remember a little bit of the Githyanki stuff we were talking about way back. And might as well steal the paintings because remember, it's like 50 gold each. Right. So that's what I brought today Orpheus stories. We've already read them in the, in the channel. In case you haven't and you want to catch up, I'm not gonna read it again. But there it is. That's part one. This is part two. We already know sort of the story uh, of Orpheus. And maybe. Did we mention the first one with Lacey? This we did already. This appears in your mind's eye. Lazelle sees it too and considers the vision. Tissue markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but there's a common speech translation beneath carved in a different hand it's a story about about orpheus your head buzzes in concert with lazelle's but it hardly matters even without the connection you'd recognize her discomfort githyanki writing every word a wheel every letter is spoke the most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Right, so we've read them before, but uh, because we did that, we never show it to her. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. She's still hesitant about uh, Black Kid's falsery. Let's see if well. she can read it for us. It to you. The Prince of the Comet. Oh, it's part two, my bad. The Prince of the it Comet, matters not. Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Vlacketh. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Vlacketh's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Voss, Gestil Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. Shh. 
true heir, glorious prince. There's no greater crime than to exalt the pretender called Orpheus. Disregard this, this drivel. Gith declared that Vlakith should be queen. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. Chuck, you speak like Kithrak Voss. You accuse Vlakith of the unthinkable. As unthinkable as the greatest living knight turning on his queen. Well, enough conjecture. I did what you asked, so let's be done with it. Very well. So that's what we remember so far. We know, because we read it, that Foss did not kill uh, Orpheus. Why is that important? Because right here, here, it's part three. Disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazel sees it too and considers the vision. Hmm. Quite similar to the boy's slate from the crash. The Tissu are enciphered, but I see the pattern. It's another story about Orpheus. Read it. I'll translate then. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon Ephelamon. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. This is more than a fable. It's an affront to the undying Queen Vlakith. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. Ah. It is not just improbable, it is impossible. Kithrak Voss and his red dragon slayed the fell prince. You could no more resurrect him than you could glue together the pile of ashes he became. My Vash talked that the silver bells of Vlakith's court still ring out before every hunt in celebration of the prince's defeat. As a child, I longed to hear them for myself and sing in praises to the deathless queen and her Kithraki. She's still a believer. Who is this great red dragon, a Felamon of the story? Well, it's basically Voss's dragon. Emissary. It was he who carried word that Mother Gith had negotiated the gift of the dragons and that Vlakith oh. the First would preside as queen of the Githyanki. Ephelamon remains the queen's consort to this day, as endless as the empire he now serves. Very well. So there's that. This good slate looks like the other. It's not that we're gonna get Another back into it just yet, it's just that uh, it was worth the showing. However, to the matters ahead, this is Balthazar's mm, room. We got the Moon Lantern here. We don't need it. We remember we got uh, the Pixie's Blessing. We don't really have anything to do here. This place is full of traps, just so you know. That might be worth a look. Uh, it is not because every book is a trap. Or every set of books. And here, if you come through here, you can find a lot of stuff about Thor and Balthazar and Robert Lore over there as well. And we are gonna get to do that as well, but differently. It's just that it's a high roll on, on the lockpick and it's not really worth it. We're gonna we're gonna go proceed in a different manner. So uh, there's nothing else to do over here. We should proceed to the mausoleum. And that's where the things are gonna start to get interesting.
uh, here. And let me check just a moment. Uh, oh, we still have a, a few thousand to the level 9. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. Ooh, spooky! <laughs> uh, very well. Uh... A warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. What dangers are those? Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can... set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Fine, pay me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Very well. Let's see. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you will have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. Uh, you're still only telling me half of what you really know, I can tell. Uh, we do not think as allies, Fiend. I'd never think us allies, Oathbreaker. Perish the thought, and the devil too. If you be so kind. You have it in you to author a thrilling finale. If... If you heed this warning. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds. For they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Damn. After all, if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. Oh, and he vanished. Very well. He almost seemed scared of that one. But... Sigils. Attempts to restrain Lady Shah's power, perhaps. Failed attempts. Into the mausoleum. So, what this is, lads, it's a Thorn family mausoleum. Me, Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are, leave. I shall carry out General Form's will alone. Not wanted. 
Not needed. Leave. So, what we're looking for here is Balthazar, as we were instructed, right? And, well, it's pretty much he's a necromancer, but we're going to get to talk about that. So, first of all. Here lies Melodia Thorn, beloved wife and mother. A Amiel Tellere Manon here. Melodia Thorn. And we got Diary of Catholic Thorn, Volume 1 here. Uh, a, a journal sp uh, spanning years, beginning with the birth of a child and ending with what appears to be a series of dateless tragedies. How can be, how can she be gone? Where did she go? The Moon Maiden cannot be so unfeeling, uh, so cruel. Uh, not toward her most devoted servant, not after Melodia. It makes no sense, it makes no sense. I won't survive it. That much I know. Forgetting it is only pos uh, it's the only possibility, the embrace of oblivion the reprieve of nothingness it would be, uh, it would not be possible for a man to survive knowing that uh, what he knows knowing what can be lost Shar understands that hers is the only mercy i can comprehend my mind is full of holes yet not enough the emptiness the time the nothingness and still i remember still i remember it all there is no mercy in this beating heart there is no mercy in life at all so, what we can get from here is um, Melodia, Thom's wife, died, which apparently he was a Selunite devotee, as we've um, come to know before. And at some point, he, because of everything that happened, he turned to Shar. Uh, it is Yehira who told us... Um, yeah, this dark paladin is no very picky when it comes to gods. This is the tomb, the grave of um, Thorm's wife, with which he had a daughter. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Precisely. Catherine Thorm's ancestors. Desecrated and arranged into foul artworks. But why? Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar is my own source of barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None. Except its mastery. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. Right, so it would seem this is uh, Thorm's ancestors. Thorm's ancestors desecrated and arranged into foul artworks. But why? It would seem this is a uh, practice Catherine necromancy. Thorm's he defiled their remains to make this effigy. But to what end? Precisely. This seems to be some uh, necromancy practice. Taking out all of his ancestors in order to bring back his wife and daughter. Know this oh, the wheel this failed it. Wheel failed it. A small knot is squeezed in, uh, onto the margins of a tome detailing necromantic rites. General Thorm's orders were clear. In order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum, one must walk in his own footsteps. Did by did, from splendor to tragedy to infamy, as he put it. B. Well, Balthazar. We got the diary, the third one there. Uh, well, shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Maybe I can do something with that. 
now. Well, let's see if this is anything Catherine different. Thorn's ancestors, no. desecrated and arranged into foul artworks. These lands, no matter. She wishes for. My bad. Melodia would understand if she knew my aim. She too, I believe, would have turned to Merkel under such conditions as these. Our darling will live again. What kind of man? Uh, would I be if I didn't raise uh, the world entire for her sake so now what this tells us is that just like before he uh, turned from being a Selenite uh, devotee to then worshipping Shar he once again changed into Merkel which is in Dungeons and Dragons world it's sort of like uh, the god of bones or necromancy, something like that. You have to correct me that I'm not a DD expert. There is three of them that is they are known as the, the dead three or something like that. A hand drawn map that shows a gauntlet of shard. It's labyrinthian tangle of chambers and passageways stretch across multiple levels with a vast statue of shard dominating the central hall here. And there are uh, sites written in Jack's spidery hand. Balls are exploratory notes. Intact wind, proving rounds, ruined wing, something present there, strange sounds reported. Rats? Why so many damnable rats? Remember that. Looks like there's a temple under this place. And something deadly sealed inside it. Right. So yeah, they are um Merkel, god of Bones, I believe. An open tomb. There's Empty. To this place. Not ominous in the slightest. Uh, there is uh, Bane. There is uh, uh, Baal. Which we know is the god of murder. But anyway. Open tomb. Sosun Elg Stay vigilant. It's full of traps, don't step on it, lads. Not so final resting place. Catherick Thorn has a problem with letting things die. As you can see, we failed all the checks, but Shard uh, Shalhar said it. This was Isabel's tomb. Precisely. So this place full of traps, let me And here in the walls we can see there is um Thorm's daughter dying. The rising of moonrise towers. And over here, General Thorm with the Merkel uh, emblem. I believe this one is first. Seems simple enough. Right. No, I don't. I think it. Uh, There wasn't specifically an order to t to uh, to take there. Yeah. And now you might be wondering what has Isabel to do with anything if you don't know. Well, Isabel is Thorm's daughter. And Balthazar managed to uh, to bring her back to life. But, as you know, she's a Selunite cleric. So obviously she's not by his side. Something over there. And that is very interesting because this is where things start to get spicy and... We're gonna have a couple of few episodes uh, diving deep into that. And for those of you who are more interested on the um, on the whole Mind Flayer Geek Yankee stuff, don't worry. Today we set that up uh, with the with the disc, the last one. And once we get to that, it's gonna unravel itself basically. So worry not. So yeah, this is a Sharon Temple.
right. Sharon structure going by the design. And from here we get to learn a, f a lot of things as well. Every plaque basically is gonna tell us something. Shah, singer of eternal night, protector of the lost and forgotten. It's not very explanatory, but you know, it's cool to know, it's cool detail. And this is where we Cross start light into darkness. Officially give your life to the shadows. Um officially with indicating into Shadow Heart's story as well. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. The night song. And this one, just speak in case uh, I, I was speaking above it. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. Right. The answer lies in darkness. The answer lies in darkness. So. Pretty well. So, this place is a puzzle, basically, and it's very simple. But also, I don't know if anyone anyone knows this. Probably a lot of people know already. I kind of found how to bug it. And that's it. <laughs> so, in case you don't know, what is it about? It's um, you had to pull every uh, lever here. These lights are gonna come down. You turn them off, everyone, and then the thing it's um, the trap it's uh, disconnected. But yeah, I don't know how I even found that. I was messing about. I think. Uh, there's not really many things. I, see a trap. I think these traps are disconnected or something. Now that we've... Uh, we put it off. But yeah, we proceed. But before that, let's just make sure we didn't leave anything behind. This tomb, this grave, quite frankly, I cannot tell you much about it because I don't really know what it is. You see this one, it's a tombstone, uh, well, a grave, coffin, whatever, with the, sh uh, the figure of Shar. The rain of night comes in a thousand falling leaves. And there's nothing in there, really. Oh, never mind. As well as uh, this one upstairs, I don't. I'm not sure if I ever pay much attention to this one. So yeah, this is the one I was talking about. The other one has char a uh, char. Uh, Mm, coffin. However, this one. In darkness, beauty is equal and wealth unseen. I don't really know who this is. But you know, it's interesting nonetheless. I probably should have checked it out before. Uh, before starting today, but well, there's that. Oh, 
Oh. You do not belong here. Your mind upends. Somehow, in the decayed soup of this creature's brain, a tadpole lives. Another presence nurtures it, manipulates it like a puppet. No, you do not belong. This is the Dark Lady's house. She is no use for old, faithless bones. You plunder! You meddle! Nah. You upset my plans. Leave. Who or what I'm speaking to? Yeah, so this is Balthazar, basically, right? Shrell sent me. I'm here to help uh, a certain Balthazar. Shrell lacks imagination. Shrell lacks faith. Shrell lacks in many ways, but I do not leave before. Huh. What? Stupid worm infested cockhead! You have awoken the shadows. My forces are split. That's about ba Balthazar. Rally on me, a wall of bone and blade against the darkness. Now. All right. Am I being tested? Right. So, Incoming. explain you the thing right now. There are the justiciars and these things. Basically, what you want to do is to uh, get rid of these things first. Because otherwise, uh, more of them are gonna come out. Ah, oh, that is odd. This'll help. I was hitting this guy. Okay. Never mind then. I cannot hit the portal. Oh yeah, and another thing to another thing to tell you is that well obviously because everything is dark and dark magic and whatever Shar's uh temple if you hit these guys usually if you, if you hit these guys with um the div, uh, divine uh yeah divine you usually make more damage, right? But uh here and now have to keep going. what will happen is that uh, however damage i make to them uh they will make this uh, double the damage to me basically What is the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it's divine. Radiant. Radiant damage. So if I was to attack this guy with the radiant, I would get the uh, double the damage back to me, basically. We got the... The execution right there. them dead at least they had the spirit hmm. they're in the way
something different I have. I don't know what I changed. No, but it's true that everything that I got with laser, it's uh, uh, whack. I really need to change uh, change her. Let's finish this. I think those are the ground globes. That's it. Didn't fail the firebolts. Imagine. Yo. It's a bit uh it's a bit shaky. Yeah, this is not bad. Oh yeah, I finished one hell of a set for a ranger. That's what I was thinking just recently. Uh, and yeah, but as I said, as soon as we make it to level 9, we're going to be able to at least get one different build each episode, which I think is going to be quite fun to do. Well, as you can see, there's an auto here, and also we're having like We're having like earthquakes or something. Yeah, as you can see here, in this altar, there is one of them balls missing. And over here, this brings the lift. Look at that. It is quite amazing. But, we need to carry on. Just so we can unravel everything that we didn't at the Moonrise Towers because we're gonna go in a sort of in a different direction. Worry not because we're not gonna miss anything. Hmm. Brave the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Test body, mind, and spirit with her trials. Glory awaits the few who succeed. Right. We got the waypoint. Oh yeah, and I believe... Mm, well, I don't remember. But there's bosses here, just so you know. In any case, we need to carry on over here. Hello? Hurry inside, or your racket is liable to. It's the earthquakes again. Rance the donkey scrotum! The quakes herald the shadows! It's already too late. More justicers. Merkel's fat lapdog. Merkel's right. That one's uh, 
I'm going stone. There's three more. Okay. That is the other one. I believe piercing doesn't do it for these guys. Uh, piercing damage against this entity from non-magical attacks is halved. Mm, interesting. Let's see what happens. Well, I cannot shoot it anyway. Yeah. It does nothing. My little trick. Let's end this. Right. Right. Got a good bow. And we got that one as well. What? In my best interest. Shit. Ready for another round. No surrender. What? He didn't do anything, okay. Oof, I don't know. Another step forward. Well, I got the bow. Oof. Get it, right? Yeah. What? Four more. Okay. That's odd. Well, it's whatever, really. Make way. Fuck yes. Mm. As for Carla, Carla cannot really do anything about it, can she? Piercing damage. Oh, it does. That's weird. What if I? Hmm. No. Yeah. Precisely. When I do that, it doesn't do anything.
gonna be wasting the gui uh, guiding bolts on this. These guys don't move, by the way. Where's the other one? Is another one? Oh, it's over there. This is your end. Yeah, okay. Make way. Let's cut with fire, baby. She cannot make it that far. I wonder if I can just throw anything else. We do have the rocks. That's weird. What should I do? And uh, I'm almost out of spells with Shadow Art. Damn. Very well. Everything would have been a lot faster if I didn't have those guys in involved in the fight. Quite possibly. Come on. You bow or you break. Damn. Okay, that was odd. I didn't remember them spawning so much. The portals, I mean. Uh, but yeah. That guy just showed up. Uh, there you go. That would be Balthazar. Before going there and meeting him and everything. Shoot. Check a few things before. This place is full of stuff. We haven't seen anything of it yet. There is this door here. Uh can't keep me out. Okay. Cheater, cheater. <laughs> the rats. Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. Ominous. <laughs> Even the rats have the good sense to pay homage to Lady Shah. What? A place of offering to the Dark Lady. May she embrace the entire world. That's a fucky throw. Oh, we got it. A pleasurable shiver runs down your spine. You feel as if you've unburdened a troubling thought and forgotten it forever. I'm not entirely sure I should have done that. <laughs> but anyhow. 
contented and Okay, I thought it might be something there. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I messed up every, uh, uh, something. But yeah, how weird is this? At least ominous nonetheless. There is a lot about this place that I do not remember. Hold on. But we'll have a look around before going to Balthazar, why not? There, there is your roll, there is your 15. There you go. Because... Okay. Yeah, I think I remember this place now. Oh yeah, well, we're out of time, so we're gonna leave this for the next episode when we're gonna go and see about Balthazar and all of that. Um, I hope uh, catching up to lore was good. I hope I spoke about everything that I needed. If you feel like I left something behind, if you know something that I that you feel I I didn't really um, talk about it in this video, let me know in the comments. Remember that we are to get back to the Yankee Mind Flayer stuff later on. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about Thorm, about the whole shebang going on, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one, which will start right here. Thank you so much. Bye bye.